Oh, hi, Paul Slavkis, good news plan, speaking to Dr. William Sears. Hi, doctor, how you been? Uh, hello, Paul. You've helped uh, advise busy parents on raising healthier families, and uh, that's really uh, uh, super. And we're going to talk about uh, summer is the peak delivery time for babies. Really? <laughs> okay. How come that is? <laughs> Nine months <laughs> after Christmas. <laughs> Nine months after the holidays, Paul. <laughs> Bad to so people, I uh, guess, uh, uh, when on during that vacation, uh, <laughs> are enjoying life. That's right. Um, it's also the time when parents uh, voice a major concern. All right, uh, yeah. why it is the best way to bond with? How is the best way to uh, bond with a baby? Okay, what I would add is, uh, do you start bonding with your baby when you conceive? Uh, yes, in fact, bonding, which is, simply means getting to know and enjoy your baby, begins before baby is born. And okay. where, because babies actually can start hearing around the second half of pregnancy. Mm. So how can, uh, how, so how do we bond in, in, that, in that term period? Well, here, Paul, are my three top bonding tips. First of all, talk to your preborn baby. Get baby used to your voice. And babies love to hear the voice, and sometimes they'll move in rhythm to mommy's voice. And feel your preborn baby. Put your hands on what we call the baby bump, and feel those adorable kicks. And then after birth, bond during diaper changing. Now you're gonna spend more time changing diapers than any single interaction around 2,000 times, so you might as well enjoy it. And the, uh, here's my, my top diaper changing tip. Babies enjoy novelty, so reserve special facial antics, big eyes, songs, for only during diaper changing time. I remember we used to uh, walk, I used to walk my, my fingers up and down baby's arms and abdomen and play tickle only during diaper changing time. So if you reserve those novel times, baby learns to, ah, it's diaper changing time. I'm gonna lie still because fun is soon to follow and they squirm less. And, 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 and not, don't forget to, to uh, pay attention to baby's sensitive skin during diaper changing. And that's why I recommend Huggies Little Snugglers. The gentle absorb lining helps draw those little messes away, those little messes uh, we would call little treasures. <laughs> and the, the, the gentle wipes also have the simplest formula, formula ever. Uh -huh. All right, now uh, this is a good information for uh, us grandparents also. So, you know, I got another great shot at it with these two grandkids I have. Yeah. And so uh, I, I love what you're speaking about. And grandparents, um, and Paul, you know, you, and congratulations on being a grandparent. And here's a little tip for you as a granddaddy. This is granddaddy bonding. I call it the neck nestle. And I developed this one day when Martha was away and I needed to, some, to, to bond with baby to keep her from fussing. And so the neck nestle, take your little grandbaby and put her in the, in the crook of your neck and drape your neck over baby's head and start singing something very deep like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, my little baby. Baby will go right off to sleep. Special daddy bonding and granddaddy bonding. I love it. I love this subject. I'm the happiest guy to talk about something like this. This is a beautiful thing. Now, what do you do about it? Because I did this, and, you know, like uh, I would hold my uh, wife's uh, belly, and, uh, and I talked to the baby. And uh, mm -hmm. what do you do when some people might say, you, what are you, a quack? No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paul, you were doing what daddy's instinct tells you to do. And when people say that to you, just ignore it because focus on your baby. That special time, those first two years where you get to know your baby and baby loves, the, the, you know, we, we parents, we tend to exaggerate our facial gestures when talking to baby. And baby loves those exaggerated sounds and big eyes when talking to baby. What is one of the keys to, you know, like, I mean, with a baby, um, and the baby sometimes, like, wants, or not that it changes much when you get older, you know, wants what they want. 
How do you deal? What are some? Are there any tricks here of ways to to work with the baby so the baby maintains their happiness and doesn't start, you know, crying or gets frustrated at a little baby age? Yes. Well, see, a cry is a baby's language, Paul, and that's why you learn to listen. And I tell I tell parents this is my top little parenting tip that that you're going to get a lot of advice out there. Do this, do this. Baby does this, you do that. No. As soon as baby does something, say middle of the night, 3 a.m., starts crying, and you wonder, what should I do? Should I go in? Will I spoil her? Should I pick her up? Should I let her cry? No. You first say, you get behind the eyes of your baby and say, if I were little Susie, how would I want my mommy or my daddy to react? And you do it, and you'll always get it right. Aha, uh -huh. and that's usually uh, come and hug me and love me. Come and yes. hug me and love me. Yes, lots of hugs. Hugs and happiness go together for babies. Lots of hugs. What is it about our touch to another human being? What do you think it is that uh, uh, do you believe we are, are connected in this way? Yes. See, touch stimulates the feel-good messages in the brain. The eyeball, I saw it, I feel good. The visual messages that baby gets from a big smile and a grin and a song that stimulates the happy centers in the brain. They love it. Now, well, what do you do if you have eight children like some people? <laughs> oh, wait a second. You have eight children, right? Eight children. Uh, do I look tired? <laughs> 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 how does somebody with eight children, I had one daughter, how does somebody, now we have two grandkids, how does somebody deal with eight children? Well, you know, your grandkids are fun because you can love them and spoil them, and then when they get fussy, you give them back to the rightful owner. <laughs> so grandparenting is fun, but you know, just we, we enjoy our kids one at a time. And one of the things we learn, Martha and I learn, survival is... You know, we had special time for ourselves, and the kids learn to expect that. And also, here's a little, another little daddy tip for you, Paul, is sometimes moms will, will overdo it and get burned out and say, well, I don't have time to take a shower. My baby needs me so much. So I would put a little sign up on the bathroom mirror. Uh, Dear Martha, remember what baby needs most is a happy, rested mom. Take care of yourself. So sometimes dads need to give moms that message. All right, this is all good. Let me ask you two last quick questions, and thank you. It's always a pleasure and honor to speak with you. You're a wise man on a, what I think is the most important subject in the world. Thank you, Paul. Um, what's good news for you? Well, the, the, the good news is I'm enjoying our 13 grandchildren. Our 13 and grandbabies. We seem to have a grandbaby coming about every year or so, and I, I love having fun because it's all fun, very little responsibility, and again, when they fuss, I just give them back to mom and dad and say, here, <laughs> take your baby. <laughs> all right, the last question, <laughs> which also applies to this whole uh, conversation that we're having. We're very involved with achieving world peace, and we're very involved with uh, children as our mission uh, for the children. Um, and we have an event for September 21st, which is the International Day of Peace, uh, as declared by the UN. Mm -hmm. So we're, we have these peace events, and so we're asking people, what is peace to them? So, Doctor, what's peace for you? Well, peace, that's, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Paul, because what bonding does, bonding teaches babies empathy. Empathy is c people connecting with people. And that's what peace is all about. Peace is getting behind the eyes of another person and say, what can I do to make your life more peaceful? And that's what parenting's all about, raising kids who care, raising kids who care about world peace, as you mentioned. Oh, this is great. This is really wonderful. You're in the show. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, thanks so much. Always a pleasure and honor to speak with you uh, with this very, very important information. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.